much for your presentation, Mark. And can I say the stakeholder meetings really work. As a stakeholder, we have an opportunity to shape your policies. Thank you very much. Um, I know the uh, programme has been changed a little. I understand um, the next presentation is by Dr. Heather grimbold Eston. I hope I'm that correct. Director of Public Health. And uh, I perhaps should hand over to you. Thank you very much. Well, um, thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity discuss the aims of the changes which I see very clearly as continuing to be enable us to develop and improve your health, your health in Bale and Royal. I see that as the public's health. So what is public health? Well, there's lots of definitions of public health and public health frankly came into existence a couple hundred years ago when sanitary reforms enabled disease to be prevented, better water supplies. But actually, we do that in a slightly different way now, but we still protect the health of the local public. And we do that, <coughs> you can't see it terribly well there. If you look at the first red column, we prevent infectious diseases by making sure people have the right immunisations. Think about measles, think about your children. We actually use those immunisations as well to prevent more long-term conditions like cancer. Many of your daughters or granddaughters will have had a HPV vaccination. That stops them getting cervical cancer. And in this area, there's some very good uptake. Over 90% of young girls will have had that vaccination now. But we also try and detect disease early. So we've actually screening programmes. And again, many of you, both men and women in the audience, will be invited to have cervical screening, breast screening, Bowel screening, we're rolling out a little screening for you for graduation with a consortium later next year around your main blood vessel and your families in screening. <coughs> we don't just stop there, we actually try and make sure that the care you get when you are sick or ill, and increasingly it will become part of social care as well, is actually delivered in the right place at the right time in the right numbers, with the right expertise, at the highest possible quality within the money available. And then finally, and that's described in that column again, that more purple column. And then finally, public health, we try and improve public health and work with you, most importantly, and the local authorities through the green column, which describes actually how we make people aware of things that could potentially harm them. Smoking and drinking, and other services to ensure that people are able to quit or stop or improve their lifestyle. But also, we work with local authorities, and this is really increasing the theme to ensure that some of the most basic needs of the local population, not just here but across the country, are seen to. So, is the housing market, is the transport accessible, is the economy helping you clear good health and health? So, that's, that's what public health is about. A lot of my work and our work is underpinned by extremely good and terribly important <coughs> numbers and data. That's what we call the public health intelligence. And that building will go down left with that really good intelligence. It's not just the numbers, it's about understanding and working with you, the public, and our partners to make sure that we understand the whole picture so we can help change. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you a few of those examples. Next slide, please. I was asked to just describe briefly what some of those numbers and some of that work has told me over the last couple of years, working with yourselves and your colleagues. Um, I produced two public health annual reports. The first one was really focused around the GPs and the consortium that is now developing. And the second one was based around the local authority, locality and the UAPBs. I'll very briefly describe what they told us. There is a wealth of detail in those annual reports, which are both accessible on the website and have driven some changes in service and we don't be able to go along those. So whilst <coughs> actually they were doesn't differ that much in terms of life expectancy, how long people live from the rest of the PCT, which comes your area at the moment, essentially is the Cheshire PCT. There are, as there are across the whole of Cheshire, huge global differences the life experience and life expectancy across their world. And that's usually on that side. <coughs> that 
That local authority will have a director of public health, and the junior register, who's at the end of the table, is it in the case of Cheshire West and Cheshire West, Cheshire West PCT, is the local director of public health in this area. There will be a new organisation, Public Health England, which will deal with that middle pillar, which is all the protection of infectious diseases and screening, will deal with the majority of that area, and will be dealt with it much at a national level. <coughs> There will be ring fence money, which will be removed from the NHS and moved over both to the national organisation and the local authority. And as Mark has mentioned, there will be a health and welfare board in each local area, which will promote joint and find your services with yourselves, the very important <coughs> health watch of it, crucial, really important. And we'll make sure that against all those challenges that we've got, we continue to improve the public health of your health. Just going to hand over to my kind chief executive of the PCT, who will just describe in a little more detail from the question I can to do the work of the One of the big challenges we've got. <coughs> okay, um, I'm, I'm not the programme, and uh, my apologies, but. When I was looking through the slides that Helen was done this morning and, and talking to Jonathan about what he wanted to say, I, I, I felt that much of our debate this afternoon is, is going to be about what we might want to invest in. And uh, I wanted just to put a bit of reality into the context of the financial position. So just excuse me for, for uh, pinching the agenda for a minute. And, and the way of des describing this is I found this slide um, which describes the annual investment in the NHS in various periods. And, and I, I think, well, we know that actually the NHS has got a better deal from funding than our local authority colleagues, um, and that actually the NHS money is ring-fenced. But what you've heard from, from Mark and from Heather are the kind of challenges we face. And what, what this slide demonstrates <coughs> is different fundings for different periods. Um, the bottom bar is the average amount of money that's gone in to health uh, since 1948, since the NHS was created. So that's an average of the money that's gone into health since 1948. Um, you'll see the, there's a 21st century average increase. And the interesting thing about that 21st century average increase is that during that period, inflation has been very low. There's then a 20th century increase. There's a, an increase by the, the government that's funded the NHS and health, in particular at its lowest level, which was, believe it or not, 1951 to 1963. There is then the funding at the highest level, which is the Blair Brown years of, of funding. And the top is what's proposed for the next five years. What, what, what I would like to do, I think, with my local authority colleagues is to add on some of the, uh, the social care funding streams as well onto that kind of a graph to be able to graphically show the kind of, of challenge we face for uh, how we deal with our, our ageing population, our increase in new drugs, our, our demand for better services and for shorter waiting times. But actually, from a from a Mark and, and Heather showing about the, the needs of the populations we serve into Jonathan talking about what our, our future health leaders, our uh, GP consortia who are taking over the responsibility from the PCT in the future and the challenges they face. I thought we needed almost that slide to link the two things together. 